we've made some mistakes in the past when it comes to barbecue Texas. Yeah, usually we lollygag in around 12 o'clock or two o'clock, somewhere in there. Trying we, to get that brisket. We wait in line and of course they're sold out. But not today. Today we're gonna do something special and we're gonna have barbecue for breakfast at the world famous Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. There's some key takeaways that we should that we should redo if we could redo this session. One, you should get there by eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. When right when they open. You, maybe nine at the latest. I think if you get there much after ten o'clock, uh, you're very well risking not getting anything. One thing we also learned way too late after the fact was that they offered free drinks in line. You know how they say it's not the destination, it's the journey. And that's exactly what this barbecue joint is all about. I have never been so excited to go get breakfast. We got up early, it's actually eight o'clock right now. They open up at eight o'clock. They're only open on Saturdays from eight until they sell out. So hopefully by the time we get there, they aren't sold out. And hopefully we get to meet Tootsie, the 90 plus year old pitmaster. If Tootsie is actually there, all of my dreams will come true today. So we've actually been to this RV park here in Columbus, Texas three times now. And each time we love it more and more. Yeah, the first time was when we very first started RVing in January of 2019. It was kind of cold and miserable and Aaron was fixing our macerator pump. So that was not the best situation. The second time was about 16 months ago when we were selling our van mm -hmm. and it was during the spring in April and the weather was so much better. And now this third time it's the end of summer. So we've seen three different seasons and we really love spring. We really love this hot summer month. Yeah, it's really dead here too because it is so hot. This is like the down off uh, season. The off season of Texas. It's but it's we like this weather. It's high 80s and 90s during the day and then overnight it gets into the 70s. Yeah. So when we stay in these RV parks for a few weeks, we need to make sure that we plan out these trips to get out and and go somewhere. Like I said, Snow's barbecue. It's world famous and literally people come here from all over the world and it's an hour from us and we haven't even done it. So today we're gonna go check out the barbecue for breakfast and then we're gonna head to Austin, which is another hour away and go explore because we haven't been there since 2019. So the loose plans for today is Snow's Barbecue, then the Austin State Capitol, then the Farmer's Market downtown, and then pretty close to that is something called the Second Street District, which is a very friendly uh, dog area with a bunch of patios and shops and things like that. And then I think we'll head to the river, the Colorado River, and check out the uh, lakefront there. I think it's called like Lady Bird Trail and, and hiking area. We got to keep uh, the heat and the temperature in mind today, so we'll see how that all plays out. We're in Texas and it's hot. Three minutes away, it's almost 10 o'clock. We haven't had breakfast. This barbecue for breakfast is starting to sound like a really good idea. I know. I'm so glad we did it. I often say like, I don't eat breakfasty foods, whatever, like when people ask what I eat for breakfast, it's like, well, the same thing I'd have for lunch or dinner. This is a true testament to that. Yeah. Lexington. Population I think is about 1,200 people here. And I'm really curious to see if this is gonna be a huge line, like in the TV show, or if it's hyped up a little bit more than what it really is. Yeah, now today is a Saturday. It's only open on Saturday too. So, and we saw they do a lot of like online business too, so no matter where you are, you can get it shipped. 
so we don't know what the mix is of people going in versus like the shipped amount. I hope there's not a big line. Haven't seen a sign for it yet, which is interesting. Yeah, so far this doesn't seem right. I see a lot of wood up there though. It looks like a lot of smoker wood. A lot of cars parked on the street. There's a ton of cars. That probably means something. You would never know this is back here. No. Oh, is that it over there? Oh, wow. Oh, there's a big old line. Oh my God, people are sitting in chairs. Oh wow, that's a really big line. You do have to wait in line, like big time. Wow. Saturdays only. Snow's barbecue. Louie's getting excited, he knows we're here. Louie, can you smell the barbecue? too soon about the line. There's a big line, probably 100, 150 people. A lot of people brought chairs. We didn't get the memo to bring a chair. We have chairs though. <laughs> we have chairs. It smells really good. Um, and oh, now- what's happening right behind you. That, that's a good sign. The line's moving? It's moving. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now that we won't get what we want. I see people have their trays just mounded with meat. Like you get the opportunity and you load up. So it's pretty cool though, there's a little bar so people in line can get some beer or get a Bloody Mary and at least have some fun while they're waiting. There's a big merch table, you can get all sorts of hats and t-shirts. There's a funny sign that said like, I waited in line in the number one barbecue joint. And I didn't get any barbecue? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't technically move any steps, I think I went like half a step. Yeah. Well, I think we made a little error in judgment getting here at 9.45, but it's now 10.45. It's one hour later. We started down that leg. <laughs> it's kind of a three-legged little wait. We're thinking it's an hour here, an hour on this one, and then an hour to get in the door. That's gonna put us at... Three? <laughs> three total hours. Is it gonna be worth it? We'll find out. I just walked up there to take Louie on a stroll and I got lucky, I saw him taking out something in foil. There's a lot in there left, so I'm like, okay, we're gonna get something. Cause <laughs> there's, there's something inside. It's like still pretty full back there. I don't know what's what or anything, but it's pretty cool to see him picking it up, rotating them, and like he gave a freshie to another employee. So that was really awesome to see. There's hope. There's hope. We just got to the final leg. We are in the home stretch and it has been two hours. See, it's 11.46 right now and it feels really good to be this close. We've been lucky because there's a lot of shade. We catch a good breeze every now and then. There's plenty of ice cold water out here to drink. Uh, we're next to some really awesome people. So you chit chat, you get some socializing in and it's really fun. And most of the people here are first timers. You know, you're sitting in line talking to everybody and a lot of people driving from Texas, um, our way, one guy is coming from Dallas, like two and a half hours away. He was the furthest one that we've seen drive. So it's interesting to see who's here and how long everybody drove just to get here. And now I'm thinking after waiting in line for what may be two and a half to three hours, we might be getting some leftovers to take home for another night this week. 
but it depends on what's available once we get up there. But we are so close, I can literally smell it and I can almost taste it. The official time is 1.10. Just shy of three and a half hours. No more line. Chris is about to step out the door. There she is right there. You're like an angel, a meat angel coming down. Oh, was it worth it? Yes. I got half a pound of lean brisket, half a pound of moist brisket, four ribs, and an entire sausage link. They were out of the jalapeno sausage. Otherwise I would have gotten that. So it's got regular sausage. Looks like we're on a keto diet here. I know. <laughs> we're just getting the good stuff. I think this was like, it was either 68 or 78 bucks. Woo. With two soda pops. That's the good stuff. Well, three and a half hours wait, plus hour driving each way. That's a five and a half hour barbecue session. Yep. Hey, we always underestimate the amount of time it takes to get good barbecue, but the good situation about this situation is that we got that brisket. We got it. There's some key takeaways that we should, that we should redo if we could redo this session. One, you should get there by eight o'clock. When, right when they open. You, maybe nine at the latest. Yeah, we got there at like 9.40. I think if you get there much after 10 o'clock, uh, you're very well risking not getting anything. And we noticed that's when the line stopped growing. Was yes. about 30 minutes. There was about a 30 minute line after us. But I think there was a few crafty locals that knew to show up around noon or one o'clock and just come and say, hey, you got any barbecue left? They sweep and then in, skip the line. They sweep in and they say, I'll take some of those sausages that you got left over. Pretty smart. Yeah. Pretty smart. One thing we also learned way too late after the fact was that they offered free drinks in line. We didn't know that. We saw everybody getting drinks and Chris and I, you know, it was kind of early in the morning, so we weren't having a drink at the time. We didn't drink today. So then when I went in to actually buy the brisket, so rough prices, like $30 a pound, $29 a pound for the brisket. I don't remember the other exact prices. I think ribs were like 25. We have the price board we'll show here. But so the guy next to me goes, oh, I guess I'm gonna be dropping some money today because he wanted like everything. And then I go, oh, well, how were the drink prices? Cause he was drinking, he probably drank like a few drinks. And he goes, well, they weren't charging for the drinks. I'm like, what? They say, it's not the destination, it's the journey. And that's exactly what this barbecue joint is all about. It's not about just going and getting barbecue. And the barbecue is really, really good, but you can get really, really good barbecue at a lot of places. A lot quicker. Um, yeah, and you don't have to wait three and a half hours in line for it. But it was a fun experience. It's something, it fun. something to go do, something to, you know. To be able to say that you've eaten at Snow's, you saw Miss Tootsie, I pretty much hugged carry and that's on the list of rules that you can't do yeah we didn't know at the time that we were speaking with the owner of of snows but and uh, i asked for a hug did you yeah and then afterward well i didn't ask for a hug i asked for a picture i said can i take a picture with you <laughs> it's a bit of a difference <laughs> but of course i gave him a good like aren't side side hug <laughs> yeah very very good Fun experience if you're anywhere, I'd say in the Austin, San Antonio. Dallas is getting like two hour drive. I think that's pretty far. That's a stretch. But definitely a fun place to come and just, you know, do something a little different. Not just go to, you know, a local barbecue place, but to go to a famous local barbecue yeah, place. Yeah, and shout out to their barbecue sauce. That barbecue sauce was one of the best I've ever had. It was a little bit thin and tangy, like vinegar heavy. 
and it had this delicious smoky feel so it was smoky and tangy and like not sweet and glazy at all yeah i don't even like barbecue sauces or sauces because it's too sugary in general and that one was really really good really good yeah so they do have a lot of shade along the way they have chairs that they hand out for free for people to sit in line which we should have utilized that more um ice cold water yeah water was ice cold louis i think had he was fine for the first like three quarters of it and then that last half hour he was just kind of like bored he was bored you know he wasn't it wasn't overly hot he was in the shade most of the time and you know it was in the 80s so it was warm but he was definitely uh not happy he was bored and he wanted there. a nap yeah so long we promised him a dog park and that didn't happen you can find good barbecue at uh local places this was just uh, a bit of an experience to do and it was fun it was really fun i'm glad we went it's a fun way to kill a day and see a lot of people there. And now you can say you've seen Miss Tootsie, mm -hmm. the queen of barbecue.